Hey guys, it's Ian with Voto Cycling. I'm here to try and do a very a, a video that's pretty difficult for me to do, but I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to show you how I attach my Krieger bags to uh to the to my bike, to the, the rack of the bike. My bike is not your conventional, your traditional um sport bike that it seems like these Krieger bags were made for, but I found a way to put it on my luggage rack. Um, if you've seen my previous video, it's a Harley Davidson Nightster, so it doesn't have all of the characteristics that these Krieger bags, uh, the instruction manual that came with these Krieger bags, explains to you how to attach the bags to the back of your sport bike. I obviously don't have a sport bike, I have a cruiser, so um, I have a luggage rack, so I'm gonna try and show you how I attach these Krieger bags to this luggage rack right here. Okay? So bear with me here and forgive me if this video seems a little crazy long. But if as I zoom in here into the luggage rack, you can see um, these little loops right here. And these little loops are what I'm going to use to attach the 20 liter to. And then on top of the 20 liter is going to be the 10 liter. So first I'm going to show you what those loops, um, how they look when they're attached to the actual bag itself. Alright, so let me zoom back out so you can see what the bag looks like. Alright, I'm going to go get my loops and I'll be right back. So what I have here are four, four of these straps that come with the 30 liter system. And the silver part is the aluminum part. And then the clamps, uh, the clasps are what buckles into the top of the 20 liter bag, which I'll show you right now. So you can see here at the top of the 20 liter bag, this is what the buckles will go into to hold the 20 liter into place on the rack. All right, so let me show you. So first, I'm going to hug the aluminum parts to the end of these loops, like so. Uh, obviously, try to do it so that this thing is facing up like this, the, the buckle. So here you go, there's one. And I'm going to do the same to each loop. So I'm going to hook it so that the buckles face up. And do the same thing back here, there's, there's a loop back here, so there's four loops. And the reason why it's laid out like this is because, I'll show you in a minute here, my bag has to sit horizontally on this system. It cannot sit vertically this way because it will hit the, the, the passenger rack here, the backrest. So I'm going to plug the other one in. So as you can see right now, I have these straps hanging out like this. And they're not strapped down because I have to put the bag in first. So you can see they all look like this. All right. And now I'm going to put the bag on so you can see what it looks like. So now with the bag on, I'm going to try to make sure that it's in the camera here. So bear with me. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see where these buckles are at the top. And then I'm going to try to buckle that in. Okay. So here we go. Making sure that it's in focus so you can clearly see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. So then now this, these straps buckles in like that. And again, they're gonna be loose at first. They're just gonna buckle right in, right at the top right here. Just like that. And then you would cinch these down to get them tightened. And that's the 20 liter. And of course, you obviously can keep cinching them until they're completely tight. And when you cinch them down, hold the bag like this and cinch one side down like this. And on each strap, there's like these little clamps. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it holds the strap in once you're done cinching it down so it doesn't flap in the wind. And do the same thing on this side. Hand hold this down, pull on the strap to cinch it, hand hold this, the bag in. The other hand is to pull the strap, and you can see now it's really tight. I obviously didn't do it completely tight yet, but it's 
it's, it's, you can cinch it down until it's completely tight. So I'll do it this side as well. And it won't move anywhere. Okay. Now um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the 10 liter on top of it. So normally I attach the 10 liter in first before I attach the, uh, the 20 to the rack. But uh, there should be little loops here. But I want to take it apart now so you can see the loops. Um, So I'm going to take it apart so you can see the loops at the bottom here. So the 20 liter bag has these little loops and this is what you use to attach the 20 to the 10. And I'll show you what it looks like right now. So the 20 goes on top just like this. The rubberized mesh part goes on top of the, uh, it would, would, would touch the top part of the 20 liter. And then this plastic part is facing at the top. So, it goes down like that. And there are four more straps like this that would hook into would hook would attach the 10 liter and the 20 liter together. Now, I'm hoping that's in the camera here. All right, let me just back it up just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So, these straps right here are going to attach that to that, okay? So let me try and show you that right now. Okay, so there are little loops right down here. Uh, this loop is the loop that's a, that is part of the 20 liter. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna use these straps to hook them in, just like this. Just like as if you were strapping the 20 liter like I showed earlier. to the bottom of the loop on the 20 liter, just like that. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. Because the 20 liter also has, you know, it has four loops. And obviously, it, this would be much easier off the bike, attaching the 10, to the 20 is easier done off the bike, but I'm on camera, so I gotta do it on the bike. So bear with me here. So now these are in, again, these buckle to the top of the 10 liter right up here. And you do the same like that for all four corners. So the loop that is attached to the 20 right here, and I'll show it to you right here, right here, attached to the 20 is going to buckle into the top of the 10 like so. Again, this loop is part of the 20, buckle into the top of the 10. Same thing on this other corner. It's identical to the other side, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now you have the 20 and the 10 attached to each other. And cinch it down, just like you would earlier. Cinch it down, and then do the same thing, cinch it down, cinch it down, okay, and you can see that it's tightly packed together, okay, and there is the buckling right there of the 20 and the 10. Once that's buckled together, you're going to attach it to the bike via now these buckles into where the buckling of the 20 was. So this is a little more tricky. And this is why I don't cinch it down until I put this in. And I do just like so. I've done this so many times now that I kind of have an idea where I want to go with this. Just like that.
same thing on all four corners. And you have to hear for that click. Otherwise, it's not completely cinched in. So now you just cinch these down. So now the 20 is now attached to the bike, the rack of the bike, which the 10 is attached to the 20. These bags aren't filled as full to the rim um, yet because I only stuffed some towels in there, just so you can see. And now it is pretty much attached. And I would try to make sure this is sitting on the bike, on the rack, evenly. But that's pretty much what it looks like once it's all attached. And uh, let me zoom all the way out here so you can see what it looks like on the back of the bike. And these ropes, they look like they're hanging, but they have these little clamps here, like I was telling you earlier that holds it in like that so that way you can hold them down and as you can see they're not hanging anymore I'm not sure if you can see that or not so now they're just very nicely cinched down and they pretty much all set now they're not hanging everywhere let me go all the way around the bike again. Maybe you can see it better on this side here. These are little clamps I was telling you about. The holes to strap down. So that instead of it dangling like this, you just put it in like that and it holds it down. And you can move this up or down to make it as tight as you possibly can. All right. Okay, so we'll move around the back. And that is how it looks on the bike. Yep, all, all tied down. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know, and let me do a, try to do a full shot of what the bike looks like um, from behind with the bags all attached to it and what the whole bike looks like. It looks pretty silly, but I don't care. I like the Krieger bags, so I decided to go with it. Um, but that's what it looks like. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope that helps. Um, if you want me to do a more in-depth detail, if that video wasn't very helpful, let me know and I'll try to do another one where it's just the bags themselves, how to attach them together. Um, I will talk to you later.